Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. Welcome to our garage makeover. So originally we were not going to film this makeover just because we don't really have a big plan for it. But I thought, you know, we never know what might become of this because right now it looks so bad. It actually looked worse yesterday. There was a whole bunch of stuff here. So we finished renovating the apartment as well as the shop. And this garage has basically become a place where we put everything um so we moved a lot of the stuff out yesterday but as you can see it's still full so the garage door is right there and it also has another entrance there as soon as you enter there's this door that leads to a closet so basically the stairs are up there and that's where it goes up to the apartment so as you can see here we just have a lot of stuff moving on here's the main area that's the door leading to the shop. There he is, just waiting. <laughs> and then here's the garage door where we will be storing one car, sadly. Only one car will fit in here because we plan on making this spot over here a gym. A home gym. We never had one. We always wanted one. And it'll be pretty cool. So one of the first things, we definitely have to get rid of this wallpaper. I mean, I love America, but not enough to put it all over the garage. So we're going to take that off. Right now, we're working on this back wall so that we can put up shelves, so that we can pick up some of this stuff that's on the floor because we ran out of space in the box truck. Yeah, so these pipes were in the ground where I cut them off. So those pipes were like right here. There's three of them. They're like eight feet deep. I'm not entirely sure what they're for. But we just cut them off. They had made it into like a table right here. There was also like a sink right here. There was a drain and the two pipes for the water. So we took all that stuff off when we did the shop. So now we're just filling up all these holes. That way we can mud it and then paint it and it looks like it's finished. And I also started peeling some of this wallpaper here. And as you can see, it's going to be a nightmare to take off. But we have to do it so it looks a lot better, a lot cleaner, um, and not so old looking. Yeah. But yeah, it's still a mess in here, even though yesterday it was worse. Well, I mean, what we're going to do, we're going to finish this wall first, get the wallpaper, all that off of this wall first, paint it, then we'll start putting the shelves up so we don't have to take all this stuff out. We just organize it and put it on the shelves. Also, one thing I did not mention is that the floor used to have carpet, and we removed that a long time ago before any of this stuff was here. So yeah, that's a good thing we removed it. But now, we still don't know what we're going to do with it, but you guys will see soon. Hopefully, in the future, we make up our minds on what to do with the floor. But for now, it's this. Yeah, because I mean, the thing is, like, all the flooring stuff is so expensive. And I mean, we don't want to, like, right now it's coronavirus pandemic. And everybody has bought up all the gym flooring locally anyways. Everybody wants home gyms. Um, but even that is still expensive. So we don't want to spend, you know, a freaking thousand bucks just on the floor. But we can use that somewhere else for more, you know, bang for buck. But we'll figure something out. So to remove the wallpaper, I tried to do the same thing we did upstairs in the apartment was basically to just scrape it off using like this wallpaper solution that we bought from the store. But it didn't work out like this was on there it was on there a lot longer than the one that was upstairs in the apartment so it was very difficult to take off so ultimately we decided to just sand it and paint over it and it actually worked out perfect <laughs> So we're going to remove this door, which they put as an afterthought here. So this is not supposed to be here, so we know it's not load-bearing. As you can see, the old casing is right there. Um, so we're going to take off the door. The There's another door behind it, which you'll see in a little bit, which leads to the outside. And then the stairs to go up to the apartment are right here. So we're just going to remove it. I mean, there's this door that goes into the shop, and we could always lock it or whatever. And then there's another door over here. 
So, I mean, honestly, we don't need this door. Let's take it out. Finally all gone. Looks a lot better. We even actually cleared out everything out of the garage. It's probably the first time it's ever been empty, and it's gonna be the last time it's ever gonna be empty. All right, so now that everything is empty, we already cleaned the floor, but we don't wanna keep it exposed like this. I mean, they actually tried painting parts of it, and there used to be carpet in other spots, and it just doesn't look good. So we had to figure out what we we're gonna do, and since we are in the pandemic, all the garage flooring, gym flooring, all that stuff is just skyrocketing in prices. Everything is sold out for the most part. Only thing we were able to get our hands on, and it's actually pretty cost effective, is this Harbor Freight anti-fatigue mat flooring. So actually people actually do use this for gym flooring as well, and it's some kind of neoprene rubber I believe, so it's waterproof and all that. We'll see how it works out. I think we got 600 square foot of flooring, right around $320, so that's actually not bad at all. We're going to go ahead and install it, and we'll see how it turns out.
the floor is finally done. Right now they're adding some shelves. They're going along that wall. Here is going to be empty to park a car, most likely the F80. But yeah, the floor is completely done. Right, Fluffy? Fluffy is so happy. Fluffy! Yeah, you like it. Yep, he loves it. You guys want to see the garage, what it looks like after a touch of shop life? I think we should call it house life now. But let's just see how it looks. It looks amazing. So starting off, we painted the doors black. This is one of the entry doors here. And then this is like a closet underneath the stairs that lead up to the apartment. And now this is how it looks like. So yes, we have the F80 in here. We were planning on always keeping a car there, but there's still enough room to work out. More than enough room. So we've got the treadmill here. A lot of this equipment my parents already had, they never were using it, so it worked out for us. Um, we bought some stuff, but treadmill, we've got this full home gym setup that's from like the early 2000s, but it gets the job done. Then we've got this bench press machine, it's a Smith machine. Um, but, I mean, it works as well. We have got the teeter, because you know when you're working on cars, you always got back problems. So we got the teeter for that. We got a trampoline for some cardio. And my favorite part of this whole garage, we got the F8. And yeah, and then we just have a bunch of storage boxes. And by the way, there has been months since oh, yeah. we last updated. So it looks like a mess. I mean, I, yeah. ideally I wanted just the bins on the shelves, but you know, life happens. We own a lot of stuff. And yeah. And also the wires are hanging on the lights. We need to figure something out. As you can see, we did a zip tie, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really, like these tube lights we had bought for the shop, so we had some left over. So we just reused whatever we had. Like the shelves, we had these shelves uh, from our shop in California. So we reused those and yeah. And then we have a second fridge because the fridge upstairs in the apartment is not big enough. We got an ATV, we actually got it for free, so that worked out perfectly. We could watch while we work out and all that, and yeah. Yeah, we got all our board games. We got a bunch of charts to show you how to work out, because obviously, as you can see, we're new to this, but making a lot of progress, I'll tell you that. And yeah, no, we also painted the garage door, so it was like a yellow color, so it looks a lot better painted. We also painted the trim black, so as you can see around the windows, up here, the pool that we cannot get rid of. And yeah, and then we have AC heater, which works out. It was already there. And that's it, there's not much else to it. But hey, it works. It looks a lot better than it used to. Fun fact is this actually used to be a flower shop like way back in the day. So that's why the owner had built this building was for his shop downstairs to do all this plumbing stuff. Oh yeah. So this door, I haven't showed you guys this section. So this door leads to the shop. Don't mind this. We don't have the hole for it for the deadbolt. So I just stuffed it, but you know, eventually and we'll get the tool for it. Actually, he read online that he can use a chisel. So that's what he's doing right now. And then this is the second entry, which um, is for the apartment. Remember, we, t we tore down the wall that was right here. And yeah, and then uh, going upstairs is the apartment. And if you guys want to see what the apartment looks like after we've done everything to it, we'll have that video linked down below as well. But that's it for this video. Our next step is going to be starting to finally work on the house. Who knows when that's going to be, but just subscribe to this channel and you'll see as soon as we upload anything regarding the house. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video.